well. If it isn't Fogato, my one and only Sibby. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in the flesh. Care to tell me why you're in such a good mood? Oh, no reason in particular. Really? I would have guessed there was a song or a slab of meat involved. Mine, I'm glad to see you looking so cheery. Always puts a smile on my face. Well, good, because I'm happy as can be. But I'm going to have to insist you tell me why. Come on, Sibby to Sibby. If you really want to know, it's because you're here, duh! Is that all? Psst, I'm always here. Oh, hate to break it to you, but no. I'll admit, back in Seoul, I didn't spend all that much time in the castle. But you? You were never around. I hardly spent time with you at all. Huh. Yeah. You make a good point. These aren't what you'd call the best circumstances, but I'm glad I see you every day. Wow. You really put a positive spin on things. We're in the middle of a war, and you make it sound like a family vacation. Got a problem with that? Not one bit. As I said, I'm just happy that you're happy. Hey, listen, I want to talk about something. What's up, Bogato? You look kind of down. Yeah, well, I think I owe you an apology. I knew it! You're the one who stole my rib tips. I was saving those for a late night snack. What? No, I would never do that. I know how much you love your midnight meats. Wait a second, what's this I knew it business? You don't trust your own brother? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I get cranky when I wake up on an empty stomach. Anyway, what was that about an apology? I was thinking about what you said, how I wasn't around much in the castle. I've always felt that because our people are free spirits, they deserve a free-spirited prince. But now, I realize that it got in the way of our sibby time. I'll try to do better from now on. Listen, Fogato. I know that free spirit stuff doesn't tell the whole story. You leave the castle to get a lay of the land. Make it easier to plan for a crisis, right? So that if the worst happens, you'll be ready to advise me. <laughs> of course you know. Well, yeah. We are sibbies, aren't we? I know everything that's going on in that cute little head of yours. I do appreciate all you do for me. As far as little brothers go, I'd say I lucked out. I'm our family. We watch out for each other. If I'm honest, though, sometimes I don't want you to watch out for me. I just want you to hang out with me. You know? Like right now. This is perfect. Tamara, I've solved it. Huh? Did something need solving? First I'm hearing of it. Here, take this. I stayed up all night making it. A doll? Why did you... Wait, no way! It's you! This is a you doll! Ding, 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 ding! Now we'll always be together. You don't have to feel lonely anymore. Even when I'm away from the castle, it'll be like I'm right there with you. And he'll keep you safe. Ugh, oh, you ruined it. I'm not a little kid. What's a doll gonna protect me from? Doll bandits? Uh, Besides, this thing hardly even looks like you. I'd have to squint something fierce to pretend that faux Gatto here is the real article. I work so hard on him, though. You don't think he has his dad's signature swagger? Yeah, no, not even a little bit. Guess you have no choice. You'll just have to hang out with me more. We're the princess and prince, but first and foremost, we're sibbies. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you win. I'll spend less time wandering Seoul and more time with you. Good. Was that so hard? Well, I guess you won't be needing that doll. I didn't say that. I'm going to give my wonky-looking nephew here a loving home. <laughs> Perfect. Though, just so you know, he doesn't eat meat. 